Hey everyone, Jeff Jones here with Viola and Management. <laughs> Yesterday I came across the most amazing article. I guess a bunch of guys in California got together and they dressed up as Donald Trump supporters. And then they went outside and got down on their hands and knees and they put on dog collars, had dog leashes, and they had people walk them up and down the street so they could bark like a dog. <laughs> they called it art. California, you're crazy. But it, it worked though, because it got me thinking about identities and how we view ourselves and how we view others and, and the danger is what happens when we group people together based on certain characteristics or perceived characteristics. Now, like many of you, I'm on Facebook. I'm probably way too much. I'm a lurker. I like to follow the industry groups because it helps me read the conversations that are going on and, and stay ahead of it so I can do my job better. But of course, I got friends who are outside of, of cleaning and restoration and they post some interesting stuff. I got one guy uh, from back in high school. He posts every single day about white privilege and about how all white people are horrible because of white privilege. Uh, he's, he's white, so I didn't fully, I don't understand all of that. But I got a girl I kind of knew back in college. She posts every single day about uh, how men are evil. Uh, apparently Hitler was a man, so all men are Hitler and we're the cause of all the wars and, and all of that. Look, folks, when you group anybody together based on general characteristics, you're doing the exact same thing that you're trying to fight. I don't fully understand that. But we should all be able to agree that racism in any shape or form is a scourge, not only in our country, but in every country on the earth and we need to do everything we can to help eradicate it the right way. And yes, there are men out there who are complete and total jerks. It doesn't mean all of us are Hitler, but eh, a couple, well, at least one was. The one that really threw me off though was uh, my shaving cream got into the action. They came out with a commercial on toxic masculinity, which I found pretty interesting. Uh, the, the first subject, harassment, yes course harassment at any level, shape, and form, both in and out of the workplace, is wrong and unacceptable. In fact, I wrote an article on that in r, &R Magazine a year ago. I know that you read it. I know that it, you loved it. I know it changed your entire outlook on life because it was awesome. I wrote it. Uh, the next subject they got into was bullying. We all have stories about bullies and, and the damage that can be done there. And tr Folks, trust me. I am an expert on bullies. In fact, I have bullied a lot of people, cyber mostly. Ask Scott Tackett about it. He has plenty of examples. But then they got on the subject of barbecue parties, which really threw me off because I didn't know this, but apparently at barbecue parties, they like to get a bunch of little kids together and have them fight each other and laugh at them and place bets. And I had no idea. I've been barbecuing wrong for years. Thanks, Shaving Cream, for letting me know. Folks, isn't, we're grouping people together based on characteristics they're born into and, and across the board. That's wrong. Instead, why don't we focus on how we treat each other and the groups that we associate ourselves, the people we associate ourselves with as we grow up. To me, the most important group in my life is my family. Now, I, got, I have two kids I love to death. Well, one of them can be a jackass most of the time, but I still love him. And then I have my, I got a picture of my dog. I love my dog. Isn't he cool? Ha <laughs> ha! That's Joey. He's the best dog in the world. He is that grumpy all the time. He is, he is awesome. And of course, I have my wife who is beautiful and smart and sophisticated and the glue that keeps my entire life together. Now, I don't have a picture of her because I don't really have her permission to do that on this video. So I did the next best thing. I did a lifelike drawing of her so you can see. Ha! I know. That's my wife. Isn't she gorgeous? Now, I know what you're thinking when you're looking at that and you're like, holy cow, Jeff, your wife is stunningly gorgeous. And I'm, to that, I'm going to say two things. Number one, hey, uh, you're not supposed to notice how people, their appearance anymore because that's toxic. Didn't your shaving cream teach you that? But also, I know, total smoke show, completely outkicked my coverage. I'm very, very lucky. But there's, there's any group you get involved in typically is a good group if they're able to provide you some support. There's two outliers to this, actually. One good, one bad. Let's discuss the bad one first because there is a group that you can join that we can all agree are just the worst. And I think we all know who they are because their meetings are on like the seventh circle of hell, Shroom, Society of Human Resource Managers. In fact, I have a picture right here, one of their leaders. You join Shroom, this is what you're getting into, folks. Think about that. The other group, though, who I have a ton of respect for and appreciate and want to say thank you to, the Vion clients and the companies who choose to send their people to our professional training programs because you understand that we work in an industry where we all have the same certifications, we use the same equipment, we're trying to meet the same standards, we're basically doing the same thing. The only real competitive advantage you have in your company is your human capital and that's why it's so important to develop yourself and develop your employees. 
I got two of them coming up. Technician supervisory training, two seats left in that one. It is online, foundational coaching, management, and supervision to people newer to that position. We're teaching them communication, time management, stress management, uh, dealing with difficult customers, building unity. What we're trying to do is help them run jobs that are cleaner, more efficient, more profitable, less headaches on your desk. The other one is the Violin Executive Summit. That's June 20th and 21st here in Canton, Ohio. That is the premier leadership and management development program, educational program within the cleaning and restoration industries. Tons of information on that down below. If you're going to be out at uh, DKI next week, I'll see you there. And other than that, just be nice to each other. And uh, actually, I might get some barbecue later. I've got to find me a group of kids to have fight or something. But have a good week. See you later. Bye.